Hello crafters, this is Julia from Just One More Card and today I have the honor to be a participant in a blog hub to celebrate Laura Sturks reaching 10,000 YouTube subscribers. She is one of my very favorite crafters and video makers of all times and I thought I would create a really whimsy card featuring stamps and dice by Whimsy Stamps to help her celebrate. Um, for more details on the video hub, please uh, check out the video description below. There are lots of prizes to win, so you really do not want to miss out. So check out the details to find out how you can be a winner. Now I've started out by die cutting a panel with the die by um, Whimsy Stamps. And then I stamped the this mouse image and I'm using my chalk pastels. These are the Carbotello pencils by Stabilo. You've seen me use them before. I'll be linking to other videos at the end of this video if you want to learn more about them. And they're really basically chalks. So what I'm doing is I'm putting down one layer of color first and then using a paper stem to smooth that out. You have to be a little bit careful with chalks because um, if you um, go over them accidentally with the back of your hand, you're going to smudge the color everywhere. You can erase it though. Um, and you also have to understand that since these are chalks, they cover up whatever is beneath them. That means that if you go over a dark color with a lighter color, you will lighten it up considerably. So you have to plan a little bit uh, the order in which you apply the colors. You saw that I uh, started with the lightest color first. I find that if you have a base coat of color, it's easier to add other layers on top of that. You'll have to experiment with the kind of paper you have and the kind of chalk pastels that you're using. I like these ones because they, are, um, they can give you a very creamy finish if you want that. And uh, they're very easy to sharpen these pencils, easy to hold, and they don't make too bad a mess. Um, you can see that I'm intensifying the colors here by simply applying layer after layer after layer. Since I'm using um, watercolor cardstock, I also get a really nice tex texture. It looks almost um, as if I did something to make the mouse's fur like look better, stranger, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's that. And then I'm using uh, the same technique here on the butterfly to um, blend the colors. Like I have different green tones here, blending from dark to middle to light. And I'm just huffing away the extra color um, in between because of course chalks leave a little residue on the, um, on the paper. Uh, in the very end, I used a clean eraser to erase all the traces of the color that, um, you know, when you huff away the, the excess of the chalk, it can leave traces on your project. So just uh, use a clean eraser and gently rub it away, and that's not a problem at all. Doing the same here with the purple, um, applying the first color, smudging it out, applying the darkest color, and then blending towards the light color again. And I'm doing the same here with the grass. I'm not trying to be very artistic, just smushing together different green tones. And that already gives you a great impression. In between each section that I colored, I used hairspray on the project to set it. That means uh, the color won't smudge anymore, or at least not as easily. Um, the hairspray will kind of like give it a, will cover it up. So if you go over it with your finger, you won't completely smear the color. If you do not cover the chalk pastels up with anything, they will smear. You just have to be aware of that. That's the natural thing that they do. Don't worry, this is not my project. This is my card base. Uh, I'm adding some seedless preserves, this dressing here around the edges, uh, because I want to pick up the color that I have in the butterfly and I just like purple. And I think that Laura will like that too. And then I'm using one of the wonderful sentiments from Whimsy Stamps because that is, uh, it says happy mail, definition, a hug from a friend in a card. And that's just something that I want to send to Laura because she is an awesome person. Uh, I, you know, I, I talk to her about crafty stuff and about other stuff. We both have fur babies. Um, so she's just a pleasure to talk to, a very wonderful human being. And if I could, I would just hug the heck out of her because she's just amazing. So that's what I thought, why I thought she would enjoy this card. I added some detail, white detail to the butterfly with my white gel pen and enamel accents. And of course, I had to add some sequins by Pretty Pink Posh just to add some additional sparkle to the card. And that is it. That is the uh, finished card. I love the detail that you get from the die from the frame here. And of course, I also love the texture that you get with the chalk pastels on the watercolor cardstock. It looks as if I did something special to create the illusion of fur, but I didn't. It's just one of those happy accidents. And I just love the combination of green and orange on the butterfly. 
And yes, the sequence by Pretty Pink Posh, this is the Wildflower mix, I believe. And I threw in some 3mm sequence as well, just for additional sparkle. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hop on over to my blog to figure out uh, how you can participate in the hop and win prizes. And once you're done with hopping, why don't you come back and check out these two tutorials, which feature different coloring techniques. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe and have fun with the hop. Cheers!